Hello, welcome back to Banner Sushi Live Noting. In this episode, we're gonna continue with our sound exploration. Um, we're gonna do the similar one from before, where we just gonna sample a sound and measuring its amplitude. And I'm using animation nodes to do that. However, the result here is not gonna be um, from animation nodes, but it's from Sfecho. And if I play back this guy you can see it's like um the results looks like something you will you would see in the visualization of audio and that's basically just um spread chalk using noise kind of disturbing this um circle and if i go back basically from animation nodes the output is gonna be transforming this uh, single vertices and into stretch of now we have all this bunch of nodes um, the first one is actually measuring the single vertices that's being animated by animation nodes so you can see here if I play back there's a, this single vertices being pushed up and down by animation nodes now by um, sampling the position of the single vertices I'm basically, basically controlling the scale of the noise being piped down into this multiple circle if I reduce the circle you'll see it's actually pretty simple it's a circle being pushed by the noise if I change the noise from cell, I'll get like a Perlin kind of noise. I can make the noise um, amplitude a little bit faster or slower. Um, let me try something more subtle. Something like that. We can still control the circle radius and also the number of vertices here um, what else we can randomize the seed um, we have you we have um, already done this similar thing in the past but um, what's the, the the only difference is the the scale of the noise being controlled by the audio so that's definitely um, the interesting part the rest of them is pretty much more or less the same <clears throat> let me reduce the noise and maybe if I kind of make it really really subtle not much different between the curve um, actually I can randomize the position of each curve here so we get that. Combine them together. This is it looks more intricate. Some kind of like a flowers. Um, multiple scales and we can use Voronoi. Standard uh, new Perlin. Cell noise is actually the one that's kind of interesting. I can use a different. Variations of this, and I can increase the number of curve, whatever I like. So yeah, it's pretty simple but very interesting. Um, still pretty basic if you think of it. Yeah, there is nothing new here except um, of this guy um, piping down into this multiple multiply scalar amount, and so that's controlling uh, the noise. Everything else is uh, you already familiar with. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this live learning. Um I guess any question, feedbacks, just let me know. And I'll see you in the next video.